against the Colts, the Packers had their best rushing day in over 20 years. Here's how they did it. The Packers' longest run of the day was a good old-fashioned zone play, the kind that Matt LaFleur put in his very first day in Green Bay. And on zone plays, you want to create a wave. You want to create a mass of humanity taking off on tracks, staying on its feet, and blocking what shows. And on this play, the way it breaks, the big blocks turn out to be Elton Jenkins and Josh Myers right here and Sean Ryan over there. Josh Jacobs sees the soft spot and he takes it and takes it strong. And then downfield, we got Rasheed Walker working. We got Sean Ryan with another block and Josh Jacobs takes advantage to the tune of 34 big yards. Ironically enough, the Packers did not run a lot of zone plays, but they did run a lot of this. And this is from the Gap and Power family tree. And those types of plays generally involve a block down, a puller to kick out, and another person to lead through. Let's watch it develop. Zach Tom and Sean Ryan, excellent work on the block down. Here comes Elton Jenkins on the kick out. Well done. And here comes Tucker Kraft on the lead through. Guys tries to jump past him. Not going to happen. And Josh Jacobs once again is running strong and tough. And it'll take four Indianapolis Colts to bring him down after a game of 12. Now it's the same concept, just going the other way. Tucker Kraft with the pull through. Watch it develop. Elton Jenkins, fine piece of work. Here comes Sean Ryan with the kick out. And here comes Tucker Kraft with the lead through. And bonus block from the wide receiver. Watch it right here by Dontavian Wicks. Just enough to make Josh Jacobs' hellacious move all the more effective. And now it takes the Colts three guys to bring him down after 12 again. All right, the Packers ran some zone, lots of gap and power type plays, and every once in a while, they threw in a gadget like this around to Bo Melton. And the thing about gadget plays, they require just as much execution as the more traditional stuff, like this seal block by Luke Musgrave, gets the play started and then watch the Packers work downfield. They have Tucker Kraft. And then look at this wall forming up of Zach Tom, Christian Watson, and Jordan Morgan. Josh Myers, personal protector. And Bo Melton is taking advantage. And I just want to show you, talk about wide receivers working in the blocking end of the equation. Watch Christian Watson finish this thing. That is great work, great execution. And Bo Melton goes for 16 yards. Add it all together, and the Packers had 261 yards rushing on 53 carries. I'm no heck of a genius, but that's a lot.